Okay, for Clan TV, we're here with Clan coach Ryan Finnerty after the 3-1 victory over the Coventry Blaze. Ryan, you must be pretty happy with that result. It was a tough team you came up against tonight and they made you work for it. Yeah, absolutely. I wasn't happy with the way we came out. I thought they were the better team for the majority of the first and uh, we spoke about it in, in, after the first period there and I thought the guys responded well. I thought we played a good a good second and third, uh, bottom half of the first maybe, but you know, I thought the, uh, the guys played well, stuck to our system and, and obviously, you know, um, got a little hairy there at the end and Jonesy, Jonesy obviously coming out and, and Wilsey going in but he did a good job, thought the guys played well in front of him and, and secured the two points. Must talk about Kyle Jones, Ryan, he, he had a, a shutout for about 54 minutes or, or so in that game, he's been in tremendous form recently. Yeah, I mean he, we rely on him, you know, we, when we break down we, we rely on Jonesy and and we we uh, we tend to, to play quite an offensive game, and we, we press forward, and, and sometimes we get caught. And, and tonight, Jonesy bailed us out there, and you know he stops a, the top scorer in the league on a breakaway, and 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 I think that was a bit of a turning point, you know. And I thought uh, I thought he had a, a a great game, you know. He didn't look like he was ever really in trouble, and you know we're hoping that um, the injury isn't too too severe, and we can we can get him back in there as quick as possible. Just to ask you about that, Ryan. Two guys had to leave the game tonight, Ash and, and Kyle. What's the latest on them? Yeah, the, they're in with the doctors right now. We probably won't be expecting either of them uh, tomorrow. Uh, you know, and they'll, we'll, uh, we'll kind of assess it here and, and, and see where we're at come uh, Monday, Tuesday. You've moved to second place, I believe, in the league with the way the results panned out tonight. That must be a, a great start to the, the weekend for you. Yeah, obviously it gives the guys some uh, a bit of a boost, you know, moving back into second, and, that, and that's where we want to be. You know, now it's up to us to, to hold that spot and, and, and keep climbing and, and, and try to close that gap on, uh, on Fife, I guess. But, yeah, or sorry, on uh, Belfast. But, no, you know, it's, a, it's good to be back in second, and, and I think the guys should, should take some confidence of that and, and, and take it into tomorrow. Incredibly tight game again tonight, Ryan. What does that say about the standard of this league? You know, it's second as it's turned out versus seventh, but it's still such a tight game. Yeah, I mean, like we talked about it before on a, on a different podcast there, the, the parity from, from top to bottom, I think, is, is really tightened up. And, you know, if you're, if you're not ready to play in any, any given rink on, on any given night, you're going to get beat. It doesn't matter where you are. There are, there are no more easy games, and, and tomorrow is going to be a tough battle. You know, Edinburgh haven't played this week, so they're going to be well-rested and, and, and looking to break out of that slump. And, you know, we, we talk about it. We got to have respect for everybody we're playing, and we got to make sure that we we come out hungry and and, and set the uh, set the tempo. And you know, it's not it's a lot, uh, it's not always that easy. But you know, I think uh, I think the league is, is is tightened right up, and it's good to see, and it's got to be great for the fans to watch. You obviously would have had a game plan in mind for tomorrow. You may have to think overnight now that you've lost a couple of key guys. Yeah, you know, we are we are blessed with uh, we're we're deep in, in the center position. Uh, we got a lot of guys who are actually natural centermen. Joe Cullen's a natural centerman. Joel, Joel Champagne is, is, is a natural centerman. So, you know, losing, losing a centerman isn't, isn't that detrimental for us, and we can, we can make a few minor adjustments. Obviously, Shane Loss coming back in the lineup will, will be a, uh, a big boost for us, and, and we'll, uh, we'll kind of we'll juggle a bit from there. But we won't look to make too many changes. I, I thought I was, I was pleased with the way everyone played. I thought the six D-men played pretty tight back there, and... You know, I, I, overall, it was, I, was, I was pleased with the performance. Congratulations again, Ryan. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.